All right. Here we are then. Ho ho. Oh. Scorpio Rising, Death in Vegas, on XFM 104.9. About five past one, Saturday. Here we are again then. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. <laughs> I can't believe our luck. <laughs> oh. All right, Carl? All right. Yeah, so what are we doing today then? Producer. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, sorry, I always laugh instinctively when I hear Carl's name and that word. Yeah. Associated. Right, well, why is that? Because it is, I, I had to come up with some new features again for this new year. Okay. I'm excited. What have you come up with? Paul. Oh, oh. We we are the backbone of this show, Carl. Yeah, we're gonna we're tell we're tell you we've come up with some pretty. What's yours first? Right. Go on. Right. Well, rockbusters. That's old. That's not a new feature. Yeah, but we'll keep it. Right. For another, for so another you're bit. just keeping an old feature. Okay. 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 No, it's an old favourite. I'm sure there's a lot of people that are going. Phew! I was worried that he'd lose rockbusters. Rick, I just come up with a new idea. Why don't we just play some records that we like? There's a new idea for 2003. Yeah. Oh. oh, you know what we can't, Steve? Because the library's out of order. Oh yeah, the record library, we can't get in there, we're we, not allowed to get in there. We had to scrounge something from Capital Gold. So anyway. Right. Go on. So we got Rockbusters. What are they doing with the library? Are they getting some records in that we want to <laughs> play? Is that their new idea? I know, let's get some records in yeah, that we want to play. Yeah, they're out the, uh, the Gina G. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Four non blondes, goodbye. <laughs> Give that to Foxy. Go on, so sorry Carl. We'll do, um... <laughs> We started Do We Need Em in 2002. Do We Need Em? Do We course. Need Em? Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll continue got, that. Got a new one, haven't you? Explain that later. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, and then the new stuff comes in. Ooh. Right? Um, as always, I like to sort of get words and tweak them and stuff. Sure. Yeah. So I was thinking of either doing something <laughs> with, um, there's a lot of weird rituals, <coughs> isn't there? A lot right? of weird rituals? Yeah. There's weird stuff going on around the world. Okay. There is, yeah. Um, and I was gonna tweak that to Rick Chules. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Again, starting with the title, the pun first, then working out what it is. And well, then, I found some weird stuff. And, oh, right, so it's, it's specifically Just stuff what? that goes on, like, um... Rick Chules. There was, uh... Most of the weird stuff I've heard about happened to you in Manchester. Yeah. In your early years. Well, in India, apparently it's good to have uh, a flat head. <laughs> so the, uh... <laughs> Again, just <laughs> flirting, just bordering on the racist, <laughs> yeah. but never really gets there, always... Well, look, cause there's no, there's no intent. There's no hate, there's no hate, it it's just clumsy, it's, just, it's, yeah, it's just stupidity. Yeah. yeah. Go on, what Sorry, do you so mean? What do you, what mean, do you mean? It's good to have a flat What head. do you mean it's good to have a flat in India? We'll, we'll talk about it later. Brilliant. That's, that's rituals. <laughs> so uh, you've, you've hooked a few people, already. you've hooked a few in. Go on. Alright, so I'll have that later. So it's essentially like educating Ricky, only it's specifically about rituals. Is that... Is that strictly speaking what it is? Okay. I suppose so, but then again yeah. you could say radio is all the same because it's people talking. <laughs> okay, Carl, brilliant. Yeah, brilliant no, comeback. Yeah, so, brilliant comeback. Not all talking nonsense though. Well. So that's where we're different. Go on. Um, also, right, I like teaching you stuff. Yeah. And you've done well. So what I'm, what I'm thinking is rather than just touching on a topic, T sort of giving you a few bits of information on one See, topic. this is what I'd like to do, because the last thing you taught me, I remember, was there was a blind girl, she hit her head and she could see, and that's all I got. Yeah. So if you could go into that a little bit more, that would have been educating me. Well, today, we're featuring, uh, stuff on World War One and Two. Blimey. right? Oh, So that's, that's, uh, that little title for all this little thing is, uh, what do you think of that then? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that then? <laughs> Play right. record. So Rick, can I have just thought of a joke? Go on. What's the similarity between Lord of the Rings and this show? They're both rubbish. <laughs> Watch What's that man, David Bowie off Aladdin Sane, my favourite David Bowie album. What's yours, Carl? Yeah, that one. That one's good. <laughs> Brilliant. So, um, <laughs> right, we've got, um, Rockbusters coming up. Do you want to say what we've got to give away there, Not Steve? Not really, Rick. Is it really bad? Well... What's the film? What's the featured film? The featured film's not bad, I have to say, actually, you, you've excelled yourself there. Again, it's just one of those things where I think, what kind of XFM listener would want this particular goodie bag? I know before Christmas, Carl, you explained that the reason Look we were Carl's giving face, away- Look at he's disgusted, cos he- he just said, I do a lot of work to get, to get these prizes, and I went, no you didn't, I saw you, he went over to a drawer and went, I'll give that one, that one, and that one. That's what work you put in, you nicked, you nicked some- there's about twelve Jerry Halliwell videos, one of which we're giving away. It's oh, really, like, you've given it away? Oh no! Yeah, if you'd like, uh, Jerry Halliwell's, uh, body yoga, 
DVD, uh, then, you know, that's one of the treats you can win. Um, but it does it like, if you notice, if you remember before Christmas, he said that, um, he was giving away a kind of bumper pack of, uh, gifts that you might want to wrap up and oh, give to various people. Uncle, one, one for uncle, one for uncle, yeah. one for auntie. But obviously Christmas has passed, so I don't know really what your well, excuse is this you time. you eat a lot over Christmas, don't you? Get a bit fat? Fair point. Yeah. So, uh, we, yeah, Jerry Body Yoga is one of them. Um, the <coughs> recent, on DVD, the recent series of, of We Design Pet. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> no, we... Could you give me that reaction again? Well, no, I just... No, just uh, give me that reaction again. No, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Um, and actually I have to say, this, this isn't bad at all. This is the, uh, very best of the Stone Roses CD Well, you can't knock that. Which, you uh, can't knock that. In fact, I'll tell you what, we should, we should play Elephant Stone at some point. Yeah, play again, we'll have that. Go on. Um, Madness. I think this is actually tunes from them and not from the musical. Although it is, uh, tied into he the musical. He went to see that musical. Really? Yeah, on New Year's, uh, you know what it's like on New Year's Day, there's nothing to do. Sure. So, so you're going to see some out. people doing madness songs? No, I took Suzanne out for a walk, right? Yeah. Went round, um, Covent Garden. Right. Mm -hmm. Past the place where it was on. The stage door was open, you snuck in. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said madness are alright. And, because when you think about it, madness songs are quite sort of musical anyway, aren't they? So you can't- They're quite do musical. Do you know what I mean? They sort he of- means they're oh, like, a musical, right, they're like, yeah. like a musical, yeah. Knees up by the brown. I thought yeah. it was alright, enjoyed it. So Blur, then, Blur the musical would be good, wouldn't it? Blur the musical would be excellent. Yeah, a little so, cockney um, So what, you bought tickets there and then and just went in? No. They're not selling, are they? <laughs> um, it was fair, it's fairly quiet because no. we only paid the, the lower price and we got upgraded for free. Nice. So you I'd enjoyed it, did you? Yeah, I'd loved it. And I'd would say, anyone yeah. like to come on stage with us? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the little bald fella. <laughs> yeah, go on, I'll give it a go. Yeah. <laughs> and what home are you from? Where, we, where are you? What are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> well, I'm going. Well, I'm, no, you're coming here tomorrow. <laughs> come here tomorrow. <laughs> was it not? Is it not doing well? That's a disappointment. I don't, I don't know. I mean, it was New Year's Day, so maybe that's why it was quiet. Okay. But well, if uh, if anyone hasn't seen this or didn't receive it for As Christmas, Bono said all is quiet on New Year's Day, Carl. Yeah. Um. <laughs> also, we've got the giveaway Minority Report by uh, I like that. Steven I Spielberg that. with uh, Tom Cruise, um, which is on VHS. It's a good rip roaring sort of film. It's that. not bad. That's probably the best thing we're giving away. But uh, as I say, we can always yeah. leave somewhere if you don't. I'm want arresting you for the future murder of Sarah Marks. Yeah. Brilliant. That's the sort of uh, excitement and drama you'll be getting in it. It's not brand Little new. Taster there. I did. I got that off Paul Anderson. He right. said there's something to watch over Christmas. So, so you've actually it. watched this already. Yeah. All right. I've oh. rewound it. That's probably added no, to it though, have. isn't it? It's touched by the great man himself, yeah. Carl Pilkington. And it's all right, I'd say. It's worth worth a watch. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to give us a quick film review? Just give it a wipe down. There may be some tripe on it. <laughs> yeah. Um, bit unrealistic. Sure. <laughs> bit unrealistic. <laughs> yeah. Genius. <laughs> a man yeah. who can fight, who finds people who can see into the future. Whereas our house, that really <laughs> happened. Yeah. God. Anyway, prizes is uh, giving away. What, what's the competition? It's Rockbusters. We're, we're doing Rockbusters. We're still doing Rockbusters. Oh, well, well look forward to that. do that in like 15 minutes. I need a bit of Coldplay first. I'm yeah. doing, honestly. Really? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Come up to meet you, tell you I'm sorry, you don't know how love Coldplay, the scientist. I think they wrote that about Carl. Yes. Uh, yes. on XFM 104.9. Right, uh, I'm Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Can I just ask Carl how he got on over uh, Christmas? Because oh. the last time I spoke to him, you hadn't bought a present for your girlfriend. Yeah. I, I have to say, I was on tenterhooks all Christmas. Well, you changed it. Uh, after that show, I felt bad, even though I shouldn't have done, because- <laughs> Because I, you hadn't bought your girlfriend a Christmas yeah, present? Yeah, but I said to you, I booked a table at a hotel in Covent Garden, had Christmas dinner there, which was nice, right? Mm. It's good food and everything. Um, mm. didn't feel like enough to me. Well, then I went out and treated some stuff and then- No, no, no. The- a couple of days before Christmas, he went, uh, I took to Suzanne to that hotel we're gonna go to for Christmas dinner. We had tea and cakes. And I went, oh, you treated her? He went, no, she paid for it, but I was just showing her what it was gonna be like. <laughs> that was her extra treat. <laughs> she paid for it. I love that. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, it was a bit- it was like 150 quid. For a meal for two, which is pretty dear. So I'm not gonna buy her cakes as well. <laughs> <laughs> I love that! Alright, love, have anything you want. You pay for your own pudding, I'm not mental. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so, so yeah. you- but so you- you did- you treated her to some other yeah, stuff? some didn't? bits and bobs. What, and so you, she bought- she chose them and you paid for them? What, the presents? Yeah. No, or no. you chose them and she paid for them, but, you know, it's, it's the <laughs> no, thought that counts. I, I got them on the way home that Saturday. Well done. And what did you buy? Well, just some bits. Might be personal, Steve. Well, I don't care. Just some bits. Yeah, but so leave out the personal bits. What what bits? Uh, just little things. And then yesterday, right? A monkey wrench and a new washer <laughs> for the shower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some recordable CDs <laughs> that you need for your job. 
<laughs> so, dear. Uh, now, now, when you gave those prisons to her, did her fi face light up? Right. I don't want to tell you what they were, right, but she wasn't that impressed. <laughs> You're gonna tell us what they are now, tell us what they are. You even know what they are, she told you, on Christmas Day. Hold on, wait a minute. But right. it doesn't matter what they are. It does matter what no, they it are. Doesn't, it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It does, Carl, it's you, mate. Of no, course it, it matters. Doesn't matter. Oh, God! We just remembered. Yeah! Right, but don't, there's I've no got, need. I've got to tell him, Carl. I've, I, I really, I really want your permission, because I don't want to be a, you know, I know it's not, but we know it's not that embarrassing, it's really quite sweet. Yeah, but in a way, right, <laughs> the way I look at it is, right, Christmas, even when I was a little kid, right, it's not- Please let me tell him, Carl. Well, let me just tell you first, oh. now. Let me tell you why I didn't go all out on the okay. old present front. All right. <laughs> Justify yourself. Right. Oh, first God. of all, I've covered it up since then anyway, right, with that present, because I bought her some shoes yesterday, and she did say I'll give you the money for them, but when I get home I said it's alright. <laughs> I said you can have them, right. <laughs> so, so, not only, not only did I buy her some food on Christmas Day, I got <laughs> shoes. She's probably had a table. And he's treating like yeah. a horse. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. not sort of like, yeah, there you go, there's your shoes, there's your food, right. Bed yeah. down, yeah. see you later. Yeah, but uh, what I'm saying is I she's done- fed and clothed Yeah, her. Did, you, did you comb her hair? She's done well this year, right? <laughs> uh, oh. So, the thing she's is- She's done well this year. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're a single parent <laughs> and you got a council estate with a smack problem. <laughs> and you still managed to buy her <laughs> some right. Lego. When Can I, I was a kid, right, oh, it God. wasn't about what you got. I remember one year when I was about eight, right? <laughs> oh, it's gonna make me cry, isn't it, this? It's no, good. it's not. I'm just saying the way it is, right? I woke up at about four in the morning and I was like, oh, what I forgot? And I couldn't sleep. I was that on edge. Mm. It's the excitement of Christmas, isn't it? It's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, what's wrapped up? I need to know. Sure. Yeah. And it's the fact that people are saying, no, you won't know until tomorrow. Yes. Sure. That annoys you and winds you up. Okay. So I got up at four in the morning, yeah. opened my presents, and then went, right, I know now, I went back to bed, had a great sleep. Yes. Right, so it's nothing to do with the excitement of what you get, it's the excitement of not knowing what you've got. And then what happened when you got up to go down with the so what you're, but Hang on, so oh. what you're saying to me is that you could wrap up a brick because the thrill of Christmas is in hoping and ex being excited about what it is, not the actual gift itself. Yeah. Is that, is, is that what you did? That's Rick, <laughs> did, did you get a brick? No, let me tell him now what he got. He got her a present, right, and she said, she came and I said, uh, yeah, he got me. It was, it was an industrial sized packet of condoms. It was a joke gift. No, it, no, wasn't, it wasn't, uh, a wasn't a joke gift. It wasn't even a joke. I no. went home that Saturday afternoon, yeah, past boots, <laughs> thought, might have something in here. They were on like some value. Right, you, you passed the well, makeup. used. <laughs> You right, passed anyway. the makeup. You passed all the other. Yeah. Passed the makeup. Stuff. Passed the lovely vanity cases. Yeah. Yeah. The foot spas. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. How much are these, love? For hundred. <laughs> yeah. Four ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do I get them reduced if I buy in bulk? <laughs> so how many did you buy? What was it? I don't know. Probably about hundred. Right. Okay. And is she allowed to use those with anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Did you wrap them? Could she yeah, just go yeah, out and have yeah, a wild yeah. Well, you don't need to wrap them, they're already wrapped, aren't they? Oh. And then what did she say so when she opened them? I'm no, just... wait, wait, I'll, I'll, let, Carl, what did she <laughs> say? Right, play a record and we'll come back to this. <laughs> 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 You're worse than my father, that's genius. <laughs> Made famous, of course, by Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. That's all along the Watchtower, as originally done by Mr. Bob Dylan. On XFM 104.9. So, Carl, just just take us through the moment where you gave this gift. Firstly, so you, so you, 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 you went into Boots, right? You thought, all right, 100 condoms. Brilliant. Mm. Okay. Did you wrap it up? I don't know if it was 100. Probably 80. Right, okay. Yeah. Right. You don't so, want to go uh, mad, do you? <laughs> <laughs> wrap them up. I'm just, I, you know, I'm just resting easy knowing that he's not trying to breed. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> no. Yeah. So, uh, I got her them. I got her, uh, Grease on DVD, cause okay. she's always watching that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, so just think of, uh, when her mum said, what did Carl get you? Some condoms and grease. <laughs> I was just so glad he said on DVD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. And, um, she was surprised anyway, right, because- Yeah, I bet she was. No, when, when she got- <laughs> she, she was, she was thinking like jewellery. No. <laughs> right. with that, that showed her. <laughs> that surprised you, wasn't it? <laughs> Alright? <laughs> oh. So hang on, wait a minute. You thought it was a holiday, didn't you? 
Yeah, look at your face. You don't know me at all. <laughs> Um, so, hang on, so did you give these on Christmas Day? Right, what <laughs> happened is, she got in from work that Saturday, <coughs> right, and I said, look under the tree. Knackered, oh, right? at least it's Christmas, <laughs> yeah. At least I'm gonna get a little bit. I said, on. I said, look, you got some stuff under the tree, right? <laughs> so, uh, she, that's Did you give her a sugar right? lamp? Right, she was really chuffed with that, <coughs> but she said, she was a bit, a bit puzzled because I didn't know we had any wrapping paper, right, so I ended up using wallpaper. <laughs> You didn't take it off the wall, though. You had no, some no, it was some left over, right? So she said, why have you used wallpaper? I said, well, I didn't have any paper and you were getting in in a bit and I wanted you to have a surprise. <laughs> so she said, can I have a feel of them? <laughs> I said, <"No."> The presents. <laughs> she thought, right, I've got the right thing. Yeah. Right. And, uh, then Christmas Day, um, I said, no, don't get carried away. It's nothing really good. You know, we said we weren't going to buy each other much. Uh, so there you go, open them. Yeah, go on. And, uh, Can I just ask, had you received your <laughs> present from her yet? Yeah. So what had you received? Um, what did they have? Had some shoes. Nice. Right. Um, getaway game for PlayStation. Nice. Just nice. I'm just tightening up just the value of, the value of those. Yeah. On, yeah. And so. just also think about how much fun mm. and pleasure you get from them. Yeah, yeah, yeah Although, yeah, of course, yeah. condoms, I can see the, <laughs> well, see yeah. the appeal. Well, okay, um, yeah, so yeah. I think but I can... also add to that bit 150 quid for a meal. <laughs> if you're gonna start Minus. totting up, 150 quid for a meal, <laughs> I bought some shoes 72 quid. <laughs> Yeah, that was after the event, though. It doesn't matter. Yeah, All right, so you'd receive these, dare I say it, thoughtful and nice gifts. You handed over the box of uh, condoms. They were wrapped up. She well, unwrapped them. Uh, yeah. Go on, take us through it. Walk well, us through it. Well, it's not it's not something you play with on Christmas morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh. But, right. But when she opened them, what did she say? What did she say? Well, I wrapped them twice. As well, so she thought it was something really good. Extra like, protection, oh. right? And, uh, so she thought it was something really good. And then, and so then, the disappointment would be double. <laughs> yeah, go on, yeah. Then she just opened it and went, "Oh yeah, so what's on the telly?" And that go was on, that. Grateful. That was that. What an ungrateful woman that is. Well, fancy she got not, stuff. Fancy not wanting. I told her a, a I told box her, of economy condoms from Boots. I said to her about the thing about you know it's all about the surprise and that, isn't it? Yeah, you explained that to her. Yeah. What after she'd unwrapped it? Yeah. Full, and she was, she was all right about it. Yeah. She understood. Rick, you know I suggested to him that he buy his girlfriend a gift. I'm worried I've done more damage to the relationship <laughs> by suggesting that than if he had just forgotten. Next time you've got to go shopping for yourself, Steve. I think I might do. You've better to go shopping for yourself. It's, it? I'm glad it's all over though. It's, it's mental. Yeah. I, it annoys me. The whole thing <laughs> annoys me. And she knows that as well. Yeah. <laughs> she should know. What, is she, is she still insists on having Christmas once a year? Well. Well. I'm, I'm, I'm you know. No, but, uh, well, anyway, what did you get? I can't think what you, what you bring to the relationship, <laughs> Carl. I don't know what it is she's getting from you in this relationship. It's like uh, she's doing all the work. I think we know. Eighty times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, God, Carl. I love yeah. it. You're brilliant. I know what she's getting. He's the, he's the, he's the, uh, what though? He's not thoughtful. No, he, no, but he's, he's thoughtful. He's the best he can do with the brain he's got. Do you know what I mean? Right. He's doing his best. Mm. He's absolutely mm. doing his best. There's no. <laughs> he's working at the limits of his power. Do you know what I mean? Though he's done as well as he can with what he was given. Sure. Yeah, I, and that's that's admirable. Yeah. Uh, it's like I think he's done better than you'd, you'd expect. I bet his teachers didn't even think he'd get this far. Do you know what I mean? What? Find a girl. No, well, yeah, a job, a girl. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Clothe himself. He's, do <laughs> he's done really well. What do you think, Carl? You think you've done well? I, th I think I've done all right compared to some of my mates. What are they doing now? Probably not that much. Mm. Do you know mm. what I mean? The, the Mrs. Matthews said I wouldn't be an eye flyer. I think I'm doing all right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I have a holiday every year. <laughs> uh, got somewhere to live and that. Yeah. yeah. Got a new flat, haven't you? Yeah. So. So where are they then? The condoms are they? Did she show them to her family and friends? No. Take no, them into work. Look what Carl got. I'm surprised got she told Ricky. Actually, I was a bit disappointed in that. Yeah. Because I didn't go shouting. <laughs> well, she was so I excited, got. Carl. Clearly, she's <laughs> just yeah. so pleased and proud. Yeah. <laughs> All right, play records. We come back to it. No, that's it now. <laughs> a new day, another morning after. Leaning back on my chair in a greasy spoon. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, no, Streets, don't mug yourself, XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington, a regular Santa Claus. <laughs> I'll leave Any? it now, I'll leave it. Oh dear. So, Rockbusters? Rockbusters, uh, first one of the year, um, 
you want to explain it? Okay, so yeah, we've got some new listeners. Some new listeners. Like might it. have. Might have. Like you never it. know. Like Chance to win some stuff. Um, I'll give you, like, a cryptic clue and some initials and it sort of makes up a band. So, an easy one that we did at the start was, uh, an exploding pet, AK, atomic kitten. Yeah. Right, that's how it works. So there's three of them. Um, it's email only. You email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk and, uh, you win all that stuff Steve was talking about. Right, first one, uh, £42 for a torch. <laughs> Forty-two pound for a torch. That's a bit pricey. Uh, that's D. Right? That's D. Yeah. So just give us a, give write us that it down. So forty-two pound for a torch. That, that's a bit pricey, isn't it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of enhancement. <laughs> yeah. Bigging up his growth. Oh, okay, God. That's, so D. that's D. Uh, the second one. Um, he'll fit some chocolate to your feet. Say that again. He'll fit some chocolate to your feet. Is that he will fit some chocolate to your feet? He'll. Yeah. 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 He'll fit some chocolate to your feet. And the initial there is A. That's A. Yeah, and, uh, the third and final one, uh, do you think your kid will get that strawberry for me? <laughs> do you right. think, say it again? Do you think, uh, do you think your kid will get that strawberry for me? That's <laughs> WP. Right, now, I'd better warn people, um, you really gotta get into the mindset of Carl here. These are not real cryptic clues. These are not cryptic clues that you do in the Guardian or the, the Times crossword. Um, there's usually something wrong with them. Uh, it is usually, um, uh, what's the word? Um, completely change the word in order to make it fit. Yes. Often. <laughs> yes. Um, so just be careful. Don't be surprised. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you want to give us them again very quickly? All right. Uh, first one, 42 quid for a torch. That's, that's a bit pricey, isn't it? All right, that's <laughs> D. Uh, second one, it'll fit some chocolate to your feet. Can't think of any. I can't a, think. That's A. a. And uh, do you think uh, do you think your kid will get that strawberry for me? W P. Right. So uh, Ricky Gervais at xfm.co.uk. Some great prizes to be won. Yeah. <sighs> Richard Ashcroft, Science of Silence. Steve, if there was a record of the week, that would be a record of the week. You're a big fan, I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Let's make it record of the week. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's record of the week. Richard Ashcroft. Excellent. Science of Silence. Brilliant. No one gives us anything anyway. Are these pluggers, they come in. We get things like homemade bands that they've pressed it in their garage. Yeah. You can hear their mum in the background going, what are you doing? <laughs> exactly. Mum! <laughs> we're recording this for XFM! <laughs> yeah. 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Carl, what have you got for us? I was just thinking, the irony is, we're the only people on this station, I think, who play their own records, aren't we? Yeah, I know. There's loads of people who do. Rubbish. John Kennedy plays what he wants. Yeah, he's on in yeah, the Yeah, but he's on, yeah, he's on three o'clock in the wants. morning, Anyone no one plays. does. Zoe, on drive, she plays some yeah. stuff. Yeah. What do you mean, what does she play? Fat Boy well, Slim, probably. Play. Here's another remix. You know. I won't say who it's by. Christian <laughs> plays some of his own. Does he? Yeah, so. Yeah, but they're probably novelty songs, aren't they, by you? Right, <laughs> listen, right, um, yeah, New Year and all that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> He's great, isn't he? Rock really? Busters, Rock Busters is on the way, we're getting some good stuff coming in. I have so. to say, I'm, a, I'm amazed. Every answer I've had so far has been correct. I listen to the clues, I've got no idea. And I know you, Carl, I spend time with you. Have I you know seen how you the XFM listeners? <laughs> well, of course they're the same as Carl. Sure. Of course they've got the same mindset. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Right. Uh, so what did you do for New Year, incidentally? Well, I met, I cocked it up a bit. Right. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> on, You're joking. Go. You're joking, mate. Go on. I went and, uh, booked a <laughs> You table. got the wrong day. No, right? <laughs> <laughs> Bo booked a table at a restaurant that was shut. <laughs> right? What? I booked a, a table at a restaurant, and the one that I called, it wasn't the one. The call had been diverted. So <laughs> Suzanne said, call them up and see what they're serving, right? Because I forgot to do that when I booked the table, right? <laughs> That's so, great, anyway. So got, because the thing is, right, it's a restaurant in Covent Garden, but they've got one in Victoria. But when they answered and they said, no, 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 Victoria, I thought that was the person who was answering the phone. Do you know how some people say the name? Right. Right? So then when I called them up and said, what you, you thought serving? You thought he sounded a bit funny. Right? So, uh... I'm confused, Carl, but probably not more. Well, no, it <laughs> no more than you would have been Okay, on the, it was a branch of a, um... All right, all uh, right, all right, right. you want to give the restaurant away. So he phoned it up, there's one in Common Garden, they answered the so phone. So it's not, the restaurant's not called no, 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 no. No, no, they, they are, they, they said, no, 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 Victoria. Why can't we know the restaurant? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> we it's scared? not libelous. Are we scared that, like, are you scared people are gonna sort of see you in there, cos it's your regular haunt? 
No, it's just that, you know, you got to pay for stuff, haven't you? Right. I mean, it's... Okay, anyway, so you've I got- I mentioned it before New Year, but it's not- So did you go all the way now, to it? the restaurant to find out that it was closed? No, no, no. What happened is I called- Was that the name of the restaurant again? <laughs> <laughs> right, the restaurant's <laughs> called Christopher's. They've got one in Covent Garden and they've got one in Victoria. He right. phoned up, he went to the book, it's a lovely restaurant, I've been there often, I recommend it to him. He phones up, says, can I have a table for new, uh, new, he said, no problem, sir. Right? And then, uh, so then I said, oh, you better call up to see if they, to see if they've got any haddock on the, <laughs> uh, menu. And he went, hello, and they went, hello, uh, Christopher's. Victoria went, Victoria? They went, yeah, he went, oh, no. That's it, innit? So then, I just said, no, forget it. I'm not going all the way over there. Right. So I cancelled it, right? So, <coughs> then I called up Suzanne and said, look, I've made an error. Uh, the yeah. place we were going to is shut. Was she so, surprised again, or? So we're not going, <laughs> so she said, oh, try some other places, and I did. They were all booked up, yeah. right? I was fed up anyway. I ate New Year. It's always like this, innit? So, <laughs> so uh, I said, look. You know the common factor in all these stories? <laughs> you hate Christmas, you hate Christmas, it's you, you hate New Year. It is you. Right? Yeah. So, I said I'll sort something out. Yeah. So I went to Tesco. Leave it with me. Went to Tesco's, booth went was to shut. Tesco. Got yeah. a, a lovely plate of condoms. Did you just stay in and play with the, her birthday? <laughs> <laughs> Blowing them up. Yeah. Yeah. I've done, look, look, I've done some balloons. <laughs> well, it, it was. I think we did stay in. And I watched, uh, that thing that, you know, under greatest moments, which was annoying me. Did you see, um, there was a nudist on it. You know how I feel about them. Mm. Yeah. Right? Um, did you man, see him? Man with two knobs. There was a man with two knobs on it. And uh, a nudist who uh, just like wanders about the house. But it said, it said, uh, and when he visits people, uh, they, I was thinking, who, who lets him visit? I go, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but he must go there with trousers on and go, hello, love to see you. Can I just pop all these off? <laughs> well, not really, no. And I tell you what, what annoyed me the most. He had a white sofa. If you were a nudist, you'd get you get a darker one. <laughs> right? So anyway, right. So we ended up watching that. That annoyed me. Yeah. And then, um, I was tired by about eleven and I said, oh, let's go to bed. And she said, you can't. And that annoys me, the fact that, because it's New Year, you gotta stay up. And it's like, well, why? Can't we just, you should bring it forward, <laughs> so in case you want to- To quarter to night. ten, quarter to ten. <laughs> well, you say, yeah, well, you stay up and it's like my eyes were dead heavy and I was like, oh, I, was, I wanna go to sleep. So just stay up and then it's midnight and you go up in New Year then you go to bed. Yeah. Well, not everyone, Carl. Yeah, Some people have a little party. Yeah. Um, so, so it's over with anyway. Uh, yeah. So, so are you eighty-six years old? <laughs> <laughs> eighty-six minutes. Do you ever enjoy? Can't, you never seem to have any fun, Carl. This is what disappoints. This is what worries me. I feel like you're going to die. You're here, young, to, you're, you're here, Carl. With us two, we've got three. As I was just saying to Steve, three of the greatest comedy minds ever in one room, and Steve pointed out since the goodies. True. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I mean this should you... be party central. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, right, so this is when I spent time thinking of new ideas. Right. So that's when I came up with, uh, what did I come up with? Rituals. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is about, uh, it's good to have a flathead in India. I know, just run yeah. past Just run past, yeah. It's good to have a flathead in India. Is that it? Um, well what they do is they put wood round your head and sort of clamp it and the flatter head you've got apparently the more attractive in some part of India, can't remember. So that's like a, that's a ritual. So I don't know where to start with this. No. Well leave it, leave it. Um, we've, we've, we'll be doing that, well we've done it. That's, that's So that, that was the first week. one, was That's it? Yeah. <laughs> for this week! <laughs> right, we've also ah. got, um, we've also got Do, do We Need Them, which yeah. we carried on from last year, okay, which is we'll finding out, you know, what animals we need in the world, which ones we can get rid of, I'm talking to experts and that, finding yeah. that out. We're doing Rockbusters, that's underway, we're getting emails in. And, uh, what do you think of that then? What do you think of that then, of course? We've, we've I love this that he treats this show like it's a checklist for what he's got to pack for holiday. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's, it just goes sun cream, yeah. <laughs> it's all like, it's done. Look, look at his face. No, but I try and come up with stuff that people will remember and go, that's interesting. I'll tell my mates that in the pub. Another one I, I think they're doing, do you know the film Around the World in 80 Days? Ooh. Around the World in 80 Gervais. And like. what I do, I give you like little, uh, things like little bits of information about countries, so that if you go, you'd go like, oh, I, I don't want to go there. Uh, this is a terrible thing to say, and I apologise. I, I, I can't think of the PC word for it. But I think Carl is slightly retarded. Yes, I was just going to think. I was just thinking the same. Yeah, yeah. Is there something we can do about that? Is there... Just play a record. Just keep the. Could talking. we get ourselves registered as a charity? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Bally drawn boy, born again. On XFM. 
104.9. I was just sorry, I was just looking to see if that's a new single. It looks like it probably yeah, is, yeah, really, yeah, if that's of interest to you. It's a new one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, well, first of our, um, regular features with Carl. We've got Rockbusters, that's rolling. There's, uh, people coming in, they're, they're getting them right. I don't, I don't understand well, myself. Well, as ever, Rick, you'll be, uh, you'll be amazed and confounded. So I don't know the answer and I haven't looked at the answers. I, I just like that moment. It's like when you go down Christmas and you're excited about a present and it's like some condoms. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I, well, I love that, that. <laughs> that moment. Yeah. Um, I, right. just, I don't know how he's gonna top that next year. I don't know how he's gonna top that. All I can think of is yeah. some corn plasters. <laughs> Um, right. Okay. It's alright, love. The batteries are included. Got you a pumice stone. <laughs> right, now, do we need them? Do we need them? It's something we started a few weeks ago. Uh, we're always talking about animals and insects and that. And, um, it's like, you know, if you took an animal out of the world, would, would we have problems? Right? <laughs> would it That's, make any difference? Yeah, would it make any difference? We That's did jellyfish we... last time, didn't we? Yeah. We sorted that out. The woman said we've got to keep them. We do um, need them, because turtles eat them. Yeah. Um, so, I've moved on. Octopus. Do we need the octopus? Yeah. Let's find out. I'm working through, um, a load of animals, right, that, uh, I'm finding out whether we need them or not, right? Right. Because, like, jellyfish, to me, I'm a bit puzzled by them. I don't really know why we need jellyfish. And I spoke to some experts. Turtles expert. eat them. What? Turtles eat them. Yeah, I know, but do we need turtles? Do you know what I mean? It, it goes on and on, doesn't we it? We need humans. Well, you know, I mean, that, I might get to that bit, but yeah. I need to sort out the animals first. I've got right. a lot on. So, the thing is, I've, I've left the jellyfish. We know we need them. Right. right. So, octopus. Yeah. Right, I know they're pretty brainy. Incredibly brainy. Um, a story that I heard, I don't know if it's true, but, uh, there was some science lab somewhere, right? Yeah. Where they had some octopus in it, and they had some crabs. Yeah. And at night, the octopus was, like, getting a bit bored on its own in the dark and that, and they, they sort of come alive in the dark, don't they? Yeah. They like the dark. Yeah. And the octopus had, like, had its eye on the crabs, and at night, when it's dark, it was getting out of its little cage, crawling along the floor, Getting in the crab's cage, getting them out and eating them. I don't doubt it. We put jam jars with the lids on with crabs in and they'll open the jam jar and... You're joking? Yeah. Even I sometimes struggle with them. <laughs> yeah, well you don't do it... R bulk, bulk. You don't do it really, really tight, but... Oh, right, so they're not that clever then? Well, they would, if they were strong enough, they'd open it, but they're just not that strong. Oh, that's mad. Right, I also know that, uh, if they get hungry, they, they eat their own legs. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, the death. No, I don't know. I'm, yeah. I don't really know. Yeah, I mean, they don't live very long. Um, they can squash themselves into small jugs. Oh, yeah, they can go in a demijohn through the narrow neck and that. Why, why do they need to do that? Because they're the sort of crevices and holes that they're hunting for crabs and things through. So, would they be better if they were smaller? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I really don't know. It's yeah. But octopus then, if, if Noah said to you, you know, we're, we're, we're having a clear out. Yeah. We've got too many animals to look after and that in the sea, taking up too much room. Right. Do we need them? I think there's other l less useful things in the sea than octopus. Limpets, they could go. Limpets? Yeah, they just sit on a rock and do nothing for 50 years. But they're not getting in the way then, how big are they? Oh, not very big. Yeah, you see, I, I might come round to them, but I, I, I never think, oh, you know, I'm sick of seeing these limpets. Whereas octopus, you know, crawling about, opening jam jars and that. You'd never see them, though. They're pretty, really rare. Well... If we get two or three caught a year, it's a, you know, it's quite amazing. Do we need them? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well, we'll just have to keep them, then. <laughs> I love that that Carl can confuse the scientists. Yeah. Yeah. Because all systems of logic break down. I know. I, even balloons. the scientist was going, well, oh, get rid of limpets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That now, is who brilliant. was that guy? Uh, I think his name was Chris. And where was he from? In a place called Megavissi, where I went one year. Megavissi. And is he, yeah, yeah, he's a scientist, is he? Uh, I think he's got a fish shop or something like that. He's got a fish shop? No, he doesn't. Well, like an aquarium type place. Oh, right. 
So <laughs> fish shop. <laughs> it would fish and chip shop. It would have been fast in the, uh, uh, a, a winkle yeah. store. <laughs> He's got a winkle store at Paul Arbor. Yeah, that's an expert. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. But, what, uh, what have you learnt from that then? Well, the, uh, we don't know whether they're deaf or not, because the scientist, the bloke in the chip oh, shop yeah. couldn't <laughs> confirm it. Um, they eat their own legs. Yeah, Look at that's that. That's a bit weird. Yeah. It? They that's eat weird. their own legs? They eat their own legs if they get hungry. Right. Um, and they grow back, don't they? Mm, I think so, yeah. If, if you, if you eat one, they'll grow back. Yeah. And, um, yeah, you can put them in, in little jars and that. Uh, if you wanted to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's just a bit weird, isn't it? It's like, um, <laughs> no, but do you know, like, you know, people have a go about being cruel to animals and that, but what he was saying there is, right, what they've watched an octopus do, they've, they've got hold of a crab, right, so that'll be being stressed out because it's out of the water. <laughs> yeah. They've then stressed it out even more by putting it in a jar. Right. <laughs> which he didn't like. Uh -huh. Which he didn't and then an octopus is crawling about on the jar, yeah. and the crab knows that the octopus wants to eat it. Right? Yeah. So then it's having more frets because yeah. of that, and then they let the octopus eat it. Yeah. I think that's that's pretty. Do we need crabs? Uh, See them next week, yeah. Well, I want to sort out snails first. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. What's your pitch with snails? What do you know about snails? Um, I know that um, bats eat them. Um, they can sleep for 13 years. Right. <laughs> oh, you do it. Can you believe that? Okay. <laughs> he said to me, he said to me, snails can sleep for 13 years. And I went, right. He went, oh, thing is though, if it was a scientist and he was, you know, he was, he was looking at it and he put it in a quiet place, it might well doze off. <laughs> he said, it wouldn't be the same if it lived on the streets. <laughs> And then we went on to a whole thing about homeless. He wants to do a game show with celebrities being homeless for a week. What do you think? Actually, I've got to say, that's not bad at it's all. It's not bad, is it? No. Do you, do you know how, like, Lenny Henry went to the jungle? Yep. Right? And you've got, uh, you've got, what, what, who else did it? Um, uh, John, uh, Lally, John, Lally, John Lally 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 made slippers out of a bra. <laughs> right? So I'm thinking, like, get a celebrity and say to him, no, just because, I'll tell you why, right? I'll tell yeah. you why all this came about. When I was walking back from that Christmas meal that I bought my girlfriend for 150 quid. Right. <laughs> Lest we forget. Right. Um, I was walking down Mortimer Street and there was an homeless fella there and it was like, oh, you know, it's really, really bad. But the weird thing is, it was, it was about, I don't know, probably about eight, eight o'clock. Yeah. No, about, about nine. Right. And he was asleep. And I just thought, do homeless people ever think, do you know, I think I'll, I'll have an early one tonight. <laughs> right, that's that's what got me thinking. It's a bit weird, the whole lifestyle of it. The yes. fact that he had an early night. So, uh, the fact, what, what, if it's a bit weird that he's sleeping not in a home, but on the street? No, it's just that if it's I- interesting. If I was homeless, I'd probably stay up quite late, because it's not nice. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? What are you talking about? Just being homeless isn't a good thing, is it? No. People forget how bad it is. Yeah. Right? But surely sleeping gets you out of reality. They sleep because they're tired, they can't sleep very well, so they need all the sleep they can get. Yeah, but sleeping's nice if you've got a nice big bed. What, you think that they can go, I'll oh, stay up, I'll go to bed at two, I'll go straight to sleep and I'll pop up at eight <laughs> when the alarm <laughs> clock goes off? Well, it's just what I was thinking, right? <laughs> so I was thinking how bad it is and it's, you know, especially this time of the year, you know. Yeah, uh, it's terrible. It's the, uh, it's it's really the worst nice. thing. And to sort of give it some publicity and get a bit of help behind it, get celebrities, yeah. someone like I've Phil Mitchell, <laughs> maybe, yeah. off, off EastEnders, yeah. who's a big fella, he can look after himself, put him in a shop doorway, right. have some cameras set far away in a building or something, yeah. they can film him, right. and it's up to him how he raises money for food to eat. He could sign autographs. <laughs> Well, they wouldn't know him though, would they? Because the, you, you never look Who at a homeless get? person. You get, uh, what's her name? Gail you Porter. Yep. Gabby Roslin. Right, yeah. Narinda from Big Brother. Yeah. Uh, who else would do it? Um. I got a game show Les idea. Les Dennis, called, I reckon. I got do. a game show idea called On the Game. <laughs> and, uh, what happens is you get Narinda from Big Brother. <laughs> Sugar Cane. By Sonic Youth on XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Go on, Carl, what, what's what's next? Are you going to do your um, war feature? War, what is it called? War, do you think of that then? you do that now? I just, 
it annoys me a bit, right? Because we said before Christmas that we'd come back with new stuff. Yeah. Um, gave you a title to work on, that ridiculous. Right. You came in today, I said, have you sorted it out? You say no. Steve, you're having a go at me for getting, wanting to get music out of the library for you. Yeah. You haven't got any new ideas. Sure. But you're dissing mine. I'm not dissing yours. Well, I'm, I, getting, I, I'm, I'm a massive fan of them. Good vibe off you. <laughs> oh, I think that's very harsh. I, I just asked you when were we going to have War, do you think of that? I'm a big oh. fan, I'm excited. Well, it's not that good, to be honest, with you. <laughs> well, I disagree. It sounds brilliant. Right, well, it's it's a bit of a tweak of educating Ricky. Uh, right. Just some information on, on wars. Yeah. Um, okay. World War Two. World War Two. all right. Um, the world champion chess player. Um, he helped someone out um, in the war. <laughs> it's the detail I like. <laughs> No, he, uh, you know, he, it's, it's nearly a history program, isn't it? <laughs> he, um, I was watching those repeats of the World at War. Yeah, they were on in the mornings. You know, incredibly. Did detailed, you like? They've got nothing on. Cars. Did you write a lot of that David Sharma series? <laughs> he, he was able to use his skills that he has to play chess because apparently chess is all about probabilities of like where, you know, where a piece will be put. Right. And uh, they got him in, and they said, "Can you help us out?" He said, "Yeah." And uh, he said, right, where, sh where should we like- fly? Hitler has just moved his queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, that's yeah. a, that's a He sent in a bishop that ran diagonally <laughs> yeah, exactly. through the troops, <laughs> knocking him over. Sorry, wait a minute, Carl. So they got a chess Sorry, that's, that's it! Well, yeah. It's just like, oh, what do you think of that? Again, that's not a story. But it angers me that he says that I'm down on the ideas when that- I mean, that's beginning to shape up was quite interesting. I thought you were going to tell me which battle or which event was you- World War Two. There's not a battle. But which bit of you World War Two? Like, the, the middle bit. It's <laughs> six years worth. Yeah, well, probably about a bit in- Guessing. Thought, let's... Guessing. Well, alright, yeah, there is a bit of guesswork, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> But that could have been an interesting thing if you told me it had an impact well, on the normal landings. Well, when you look at these things, do you go, uh, bloke wants help chess, oh, I'll use that, and run away from the computer? No, or I run out it. of the bookshop? I read the first line where I get enough information, I just think- What do you mean you read the first line where you get enough information? Imagine if you were someone's defence lawyer. <laughs> exactly. And he was like, he's on death row, <laughs> yeah. and went, oh, I don't think he did it. <laughs> yeah. I read the first line, I didn't read the file it's completely. He was in a hotel in Texas, right? Go on. It's enough. Oh, some other it's stuff. Enough. It's, it's enough. enough. It's, it's enough. enough. It's enough. I yeah, know, no, I just thought they always took ages on deciding where to go. It's just like, you know, but there's a better I way. I don't know what you're saying now. I don't know what- I don't know what you're talking about. Well, actually, actually well, don't know what you're talking about. When people play chess, they take ages to make the move. <sighs> so I'm just thinking, there's probably a quicker way. <laughs> of what? Than finding where a boat is. Than getting a chess player in. I don't know- I don't know what you mean now. Right, Are you talking right, about battleships what? now? They should've right. got an expert battleships player in. Right. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! What- but I can't- right, what, Forget that one. Or someone no, who's no, really no, good. no, I'm not being funny, but what is that? What are you telling me there? Someone who's really good at risk. <laughs> yeah. should've brought them in. <laughs> yeah! Cluedo! Right, yeah. another fact. Oh, there. that's enough then, is it? Well, they use expert Cluedo players, um, but the police use oh, expert they, Cluedo they do use- yeah, 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 yeah. If ever there's a murder in a country house. Do you think they use that old Chinese fella? Um, on the front of, um, uh, Mastermind. <laughs> Mastermind, yeah. 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 Yeah, for logic problems. Mm. The, the Enigma code was broken by top Mastermind <laughs> players. <laughs> yeah. Right, second fact. And a fact. guy who had a couple of rounds of Yahtzee and done very well. <laughs> <laughs> second yeah. Second fact about the war. They, um, and for engineering, they use a lot of Jenga players. Absolutely. Yeah, whenever they want will the building collapse? Uh, I don't know, let's pull this, let's see. If yes, they it wanted will. to identify, uh, what, what are you doing? If they wanted to identify spies, yeah. bring me the champion of guess who. <laughs> <laughs> Was it a woman with glasses? No, it might sit <laughs> down. you got a beard? Is it Bernard? <laughs> <laughs> right, Carl, sorry, right, go on. An another war fact. So go you're on. saying it's rubbish, but look, you, will, you love that. Yeah. Right? yeah. Second you're one. You're absolutely right. Um, yeah. the first bomb that was dropped on Berlin. Yeah. It didn't kill a person, but it killed an elephant. <laughs> I think that's true. That is true. Right. Yeah. right. Okay. Um, and the last one. Is that all you know about that? See, that's interesting, isn't it? But what that's was the enough. But, but no, it's, it's not, not though. Cause I, no, because, I mean, listen, most people want to go, oh, what was the elephant doing there? Did oh, it land on a zoo? Was it a pet? Oh. Was it a lost elephant? Did they aim at the elephant? How did it kill it? Did was it, it, it hit on his favourite elephant? <laughs> yeah, yeah, was it hit his favourite elephant? Did it then have one ball? Yeah. I mean, these are the things, you know, why didn't he catch it with his mm. trunk? Did it have an effect on yeah. German morale? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that yes. elephant is kaput! <laughs> Uh, oh, Jumbo! 
<laughs> I don't want to fight anymore. <laughs> Cheering breaks, painkiller, on XFM. Carl's getting a little bit stressed, aren't you? No, I, I just, I just, you know, got to keep focus, got to keep the show good and that. Yeah. You know, and in the yeah. new year, the idea was come up with some good snappy stuff. Yeah. And today, I just think it's it's been a mess with you, to be honest. I mean, this is the sort of thing I'd prefer to do <laughs> after the show as as the producer. Yeah. But. You know, I, do you know what, I think it's a discipline problem. <laughs> Is I'm it because sure is, is, is it I just put sellotape on your head? Well, that that's a bit to do with it, but just you know, let's let's just focus. But on I didn't put it when there was any hair on your eyebrows. I put it across your forehead. Right. What do you think of that then? Yeah. We've got one more bit left. Brilliant. One more fact. Um, the French, right, when they were at war. Um, <laughs> David Sharma, I just imagine him just introducing the amazing. Which which war was this? It was still the World War. Uh, one World or two. War, you go two. on. It's fifty fifty. Go on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. right. World War Two. Uh, what the French did. Uh, did everyone needs a code. Right? <laughs> everyone needs a code. <laughs> yep. A code when you when you're in the army. This is a Disney song. Right. Um, and you know to sort of give the go ahead if you want to go into battle and stuff. Okay. Right. So, um, <laughs> but the weird thing is, show. right, the weird thing Everyone. is, do you know what, do you know what theirs was? Go on. Do I you? Think, yeah, yeah, I've, I know what it is. It's so what was the, the French code? For what? To sort of say, right, yeah, go on. But they had more than one. <laughs> on, on this day. But I don't know what day it is. <laughs> on All this right. day. And um, what, it's just like saying, what am I thinking of? <laughs> what was the battle? What was the... Okay, right. so all right. What look, look at him. Look at him. Look, he's genuinely confused that I've asked this question. Right. It was. No, it was... no, no. If you ask me a question, ask me the question correctly. Um, what was the what was the code for battle during what battle? World War Two. No, that's not a battle. That's a war. Yeah, it was in a war. Yeah. <laughs> it, uh, I don't know what to do. He right. confuses people. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. Okay. What was it, Carl? What was the yeah? Code? What, what, what the are French you thinking code? of? Right. John's got a moustache. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what oh, are you talking my about? Lungs are that, gonna burst. that was was a code that the French used. You know, like I mean, I, I just think it's a bit daft, right? Uh, because you could come up with that by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Two French folks talking in the trenches, and they see they see a major walk past, and they go, oh, "Look, John's got a moustache," and they all go and go, "No, I was just talking." <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, the way. I, I don't think that's a good code. I'm, I'm not. I don't know. believe it is the code. No, it is seriously. And what? Uh, and it's would just it, would it have been, would it have been it. said in French? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. The, guessing. The, guessing. The, yeah. 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 No, but what? You see, I can't even be, be bothered. <laughs> what? What are you saying, Carl? Because it's not a very good code. Do you know, like we've talked in the past about you know things you don't <laughs> see, and I said an old man eating a twix. <laughs> yeah. If they use that, that wouldn't. That's safe. Because no one is ever going to see a man having an old, you know, an old man having a Twix. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, use that as a code. Don't use a <laughs> saying, John's got a moustache, that could crop up. <laughs> it's like the war's kicked off. Why did, how, why did how'd that happen? Well, I said John had a moustache. Oh. <laughs> two French folks would never be saying, John's got a moustache. Why, why would they? they? Because well, back then they were fashionable. <laughs> <laughs> he nearly makes sense, doesn't he? I assume it would have been Jean. Yeah. No, probably John. And I, I, how would this how would this code have been? I mean, who would have I don't announced know, this? I, just to read everyone? It. I read it like that, Steve. That's what was on the internet. This is a code <laughs> that was used. John's got. But don't be angry with me. I know, but you're always asking questions. That's <laughs> because <laughs> I'm interested in history. <laughs> yeah. No, it's genu you're genuinely interested in bloke calm. We'd like to know. I'd like to film you secretly. You know, like they do, like Nature Watch, when they put it in a uh, like a, <laughs> you know, I mean, a badgers sort of thing, right? Yeah. And they just they just watch it. I'd like to see what you do, pot around them. <laughs> I wish I could download the music in your head, because it'd be <laughs> and you see something weird, you go <laughs> and then you read that and you go <laughs> and you write it down, and that's what comes out. John's got a moustache. They I'd could like have, to see they next could have, Christmas. Imagine the French, right, for their battle cry, for their battle code. 
to know it's going ahead, they're going over the top, is you never see an old bloke eating a Twix. <laughs> Imagine that! Yeah, but the, all these things are things that I think in my head. Right? <laughs> Keep them in there! <laughs> Do you know, like before, before when I was talking about going out on, you know, Christmas Day, yeah. having a meal on the way back, seeing a homeless person, yeah. and then I think, God, that wouldn't be good. I know, TV show, right? <laughs> you can think of things like that. When I saw the homeless fella, then I got talking to Suzanne about when I had to sleep in my car. What do you mean? Go on. Let's play a record and come oh, back to any sleeping in the car. God, I can't wait. Play a song for the I was watching last night, Carl, <sighs> on cable TV, 1987's Amazing Sign of the Times Prince in Concert film. It was dynamite. I thought to myself, how brilliant he is. It reminded me of the gig I went to see last year. He played this tune. It's from the album Parade. Okay, I don't want to discuss whether or not Prince is acceptable on XFM or whether he's a genius. He is a genius. That's the end. That's the end of the discussion. Play oh, the tune. He's dynamite. It's a song for the ladies. I, was, I remember, um, I was gonna tell you, um, I was on the way here. You know, um, do you remember John? He's got a moustache now. I can't believe it. Lads, no! <laughs> don't- <laughs> It's not on! It's, it was- <laughs> The battle's yeah, not yeah. on! <laughs> Look at your face, Carl. The, ele the elephant did die. Yeah, no, I'm, I the believe elephant. that. Yeah. Tracy died soon after a long Sometimes it snows in April from the lovely Prince. Brilliant. Uh, from the album Parade. Uh, he doesn't always have to get up and have a rock about. He can just sit there at the piano. You can't argue with that. After out. the break, Steve, a brand new feature I've just done. <laughs> that's Ricky Ridiculous. That's Ricky Ridiculous. You see, you say Ricky Gervais doesn't put any work into the show. He's just done that. I'm gonna that tell song. Carl some amazing facts from the world of science, nature, politics. Four are real. One is absolutely Ricky Ridiculous. <laughs> Cat Stevens, from the Catch Bullet 4 album, Sitting. Little interesting fact for the nerds. We got it down to two songs to, uh, do this intro music to The Office. It was that one, and Handbags and Cloud Rags, we went for Handbags and Cloud Rags. Interesting, isn't it? It is a fascinating fact, except yeah. of course we want- I still feel we should use that one, except we couldn't, cos, uh, Cat Stevens' people wouldn't let us. Or it was too expensive or something. I don't know, we re-recorded the well, Stuart one, that, I, it was I, too expensive. I still- I still prefer that one, I think. Yeah. Difficult. <laughs> Difficult. Decisions. Anyway, decisions. that's Rick ridiculous, right? Five facts. Right, one is totally made up. All right. Just do three. Three. And oh well, one. there's okay, right? Um, um. Oh, let's see. What should I do then? Uh, there this are more was moves, carefully planned. There are more moves possible in a game of chess than there are particles in the universe. Um, you can't get any colder than liquid nitrogen. I think it's minus. Two seven three. You can't. You can't and it's impossible to get colder than that. Um, the honey badger has got skin so loose that if you grabbed it by the neck, it could uh, uh, come away from its skin, turn round, and bite you out of its anus. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Right, Rockbusters then, uh, wrapping it up. Um, it needs some work, that game, but I see it's got a lot of mileage. Um, uh, right, here uh, we go then. The first one, uh, £42 for a torch, that's a bit pricey. Go on. That was D, yeah. that was Daylight. Wait, I thought Daylight, and I thought um, it doesn't work. One. It doesn't work. I actually thought Daylight doesn't work. Second one. There's no, um, one, no one, wait, 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 Daylight, it doesn't work, it's Daylight. Second one was- No, no, Carl, it doesn't work. Yeah, but- if we're gonna continue with this feature, you've got to tweak them a bit, right? <laughs> People have got it, we've had loads of emails, more than ever. So, do you know what I mean? Let them decide. Mm. If they don't like it, they won't email in, but they lo they're loving it. They've right? all come from the same institution. Um, <laughs> right, go on. He'll fit some chocolate to your feet, that was A, that was Aerosmith. Right? Aerosmith. You've yeah. heard of a blacksmith. But a smith is just yeah. a workman. It doesn't uh, necessarily- No, you can have anything. You can have a locksmith. A smith doesn't just mean it does shoes. Right, do you think- you Aero Cobbler oh. would have worked. Unfortunately, there isn't a band called Aero Cobbler. Get ready, get ready with a winner. Um, do you think your kid will, uh, get that strawberry for me? That's Wilson Pickett. <laughs> <laughs> Wilson Pickett. Have you got a I'll give you that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have to say that I don't know if these guys have won in the past, but they were the first people to email in. They, I mean, normally I just give it to anyone, but these guys, literally, you've given the How clues, Carl. Get I'm amazed. Everyone seemed to get Aerosmith. How? Everyone got D Light. Everyone got Wilson Pickett. I, I'm absolutely stunned. 
I, I just, I, you know, they deserve it. They deserve the junk. <laughs> Prizes. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll give it to Jonathan and Louise, who, as I say, may have won in the past, but as I say, they were very, very quick. You've got oh. to beat them if you want to win. Yeah. Uh, and they're from Wrexham. Brilliant. So good luck to them. So that's I hope that, they then. enjoy uh, Jerry's yoga diet. Back next week, then. Yeah. See you later.